father, for the father to answer the excuses that people are putting. Um, that first one is that three pounds that you talked about. And I did say that you learned a lot about uh, Javante Tang Davis. I, sp I spoke to uh, Regis Progress, and I also spoke to Jojo Diaz. Regis Progress said to me, he said, listen, Devin Haney did it to me, but before he did it to me, you know, um, De uh, Javante Tang Davis did it to, De to, to Ryan, and Ryan did it to Haney, and this is all karma rocking back. So... That being said, Henry, do you believe that the three pounds was the, a, a strategic move? And, no. you know, there's nothing wrong about that. It, no, I, you're I, right. I, no, no, no. But Ryan admitted in, in the post-conference, post-press conference, he said that, I'm sorry, guys, but I cannot go below 143. He goes, I, I can't. He goes, my, I'm too tall. My body doesn't, um, isn't it meant for that. He goes, I'm not a 140-pounder. I mean, if he said it, it is what it is. He's calling a spade a spade. So it has nothing to do with what well, we had to do in order to win. Hell no, bro. If your body can't do it, I'm sorry. You just didn't win the belt. But you won the crowd. You won the people. And now you're the face of boxing. I mean, it's beautiful. I'd rather have that than fucking be all fucking stupid and drained out when... You live to fight another day. So interviewing Jojo Diaz, uh, he said that he was very surprised that after Ryan um, didn't make the weight, that there was nothing in the contract saying that there would be a hydration clause if you didn't make the weight, stuff that he dealt with in his in his career. Right. Um, well, people are always going to justify whatever they want to, but they're all losers. They're all yeah. losers, bro. Bottom line is that Devin came in – more heavier than Ryan in the ring. So now what? Well, so what's the difference between three pounds and now Devin's heavier in the ring with Ryan? With Ryan? But I'll tell you this much. What if Devin Haney would have kicked Ryan's ass? What do you think they would have said? I told you so. I told you he was a C-plus fighter. Not only that, they would have said... He fucking came in three pounds heavier, and we still kicked his ass. Facts. Come on. Let's be real here. Right? Fair to say. Fair to it's say. Fair to say. So don't come out with this bullshit three-pound shit. Let's, I mean, come on, bro. Look at, listen to King AK 70-something. That, that dude is fucking badass. Okay? What is it, King? AK King, King Jr. No, listen to the hang on, hang on. Wait, oh, yeah. what is King AK 71? King AK 47. Yeah, King AK 47. I want everybody to look at that podcast. King AK 47. This dude is a beautiful person and he's a black person but man he talks facts he talks facts about what happened to Devin Haney and mm. you listen to him you're gonna know how people really think about fighters mm. I like it I like it and he was a Haney's fan he was a Haney's fan Ooh. and then after that, I want you to listen to Jim Lampley. Jim, Jim Lampley? Bro, please listen to him. Of course. Please. Now, talk to me. Now, after the, the, the fight has been over, what has been the most irritating narrative that you have came across? The most entertaining? Irritating. Irritating narrative that you see certain podcasts and YouTubers you know, try to throw out there. Well, that that's one of them about the three pounds. You know, they, they're making all their stupid ass excuses so that they won't look stupid, sound stupid, or feel, you know, they're just covering themselves, you know, under their asses. But it's just, it, that's irritating. The other thing that's irritating is what Bill said about my son, death to Ryan Garcia. 
that you don't wish that upon somebody's son okay um if you're any type of christian person god listens to that kind of stuff and he will humble you because you don't want to wish death on anyone you could say hey my son's gonna kick his ass like i told you my son hits you you're either gonna be wobble you're gonna be dropped yeah but take a life is on another level even when Deontay Wilder said he wanted that on his record, it was so ret retarded. Like, you know, Subir Matias did it by mistake. Like, he did it, and he felt so bad. You know what I'm saying? And he doesn't talk oh. about it. He When when people interview him, he says, please, not, let's not talk about that. It's the opposite. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. To Darrell Malcor, your son is a disgrace of boxing. You're a piece of shit, Darrell Malcor. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know shit about boxing. So get off this feed, brother. Because you ain't shit. Mm, there it is. Because, uh, you um, know, people people still can't get over it. He must have fucking lost some money. And I'm glad he did. Because he's a dumb shit. Yeah. Just like my son told people at my, my, my other son's press conference. Because my son Sean's going to be fighting Armada Vargas. Fernando Vargas' son. Okay, And, and we were all there. Ryan came to visit him during training camp. He, he even did that shit. And he told people, you better guess me, you're a fool. You're an idiot. And he proved everybody wrong. Mm. 